Now dear student, we are going to discuss question number 10.13. In this question, it is given to you, glycerin flows steady through a horizontal tube of length 1.5 meter and radius 1 centimeter. Clear? So, it is given in a question, length of a tube, this is given 1.5 meter and radius is given to you, small r, this is 1 centimeter or I can say this is equal to 10 to the power minus 2 meter. Clear? Now it is also given in this question, if the amount of glycerin collected per second at one end. So, important part is here, it is given mass flow rate. Clear? So, I can write like this, this is m dot. m dot indicating here mass flowing per unit time. Clear? And this value we have 4 into 10 to the power minus 3. I can say this is kilogram per second. Clear to you? Now, what is pressure difference between the two ends of a tube? Clear? It means my objective here is to calculate pressure difference. Clear? So, first of all, can we calculate here volume flow rate? Yes. So, how can we calculate? Volume flow rate. It means I can see volume of glycerin flowing per second. This is given by, I can say, this is mass flow rate divided by density. Clear? Because we know volume, it can be written like this mass per unit density, per mass per density. Clear? And I can say this is mass flow rate per density. Clear? So, value of m dot, this is given to you 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by, I can say density. So, density it is given to you. Yes, it is given in a question. Yes, 1.3 into 10 to the power 3. So, 1.3 into 10 to the power 3. Clear? And here we are getting value in meter cube per second. Clear to everyone? Now, now we can see uh, what is pressure difference between the two ends of a tube. Clear? So, actually we know if we have a horizontal tube, this is having a capillary tube. So, a capillary tube in a horizontal manner. Clear? Why I am saying capillary tube? Because its radius is very very small compared to its length. Clear? So, I can say, so rate of flow, this is given by pi p r to the power 4 divided by. Do you know this formula? Do you know this formula? This is actually 8 neta L. Clear? So, rate, uh, volume flow rate, this is given by pi p r to the power 4 divided by 8 neta L. Now, what is my objective? My objective here is to calculate pressure difference. So, I can write like this P, this is given by Q multiply 8 neta L divided by pi r to the power 4. Clear? Actually, what is Q here? I can say this Q is volume flow rate per second or you can say directly volume flow rate. Clear? So, now I can say this pressure difference, this is given by value of Q. Value of Q is given, uh, that is this one, 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 1.3 into 10 to the power 3. Clear to everyone? Now, it is multiplied with, I can say 8 multiply neta. Means we can see uh, viscosity of glycerin, we have 0 0.83 multiply. If I am talking about L, L is given to you, this is 1.5 meter, clear? And it is divided by, I can say pi, pi we can say, I am writing here pi into radius, radius is given to you 10 to the power minus 2, 10 to the power minus 2 power 4, clear? Now we have to just simplify and we can calculate here pressure difference. So pressure difference is given by 4 into 8 into 0 0.13 into 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 clear divided by I can say 1.3 into pi into this is 10 to the power minus 8 10 to the power minus 8 and this is 10 to the power minus 5 clear this is 10 to the power minus 5 clear when it goes to uh, again I am saying 10 to the power minus 8 this is 10 to the power minus 5 and when it goes to numerator I can say here we are getting 10 to the power plus 2 clear to everyone clear done so, now we have to just simplify and we can get our answer. So, dear student, now if we solve it, we can write like this pressure difference. This is given by 9.8 into 10 to the power 2. I can say this is Pascal or you can also write in Newton per meter square. Clear? So, this is a answer of this question. Clear? So, important part we have that how can you proceed in this question. This formula you should keep in your mind. This is a formula. Clear? And first of all, you have to calculate here volume flow rate. After volume flow rate, you can 
easily uh, put all the values in this formula and you can find pressure difference clear so this is all about this question